friends, it is Sam, and today we're going to be making three different versions of power ball or energy balls or whatever you want to call them. Um, I ate these a lot during my raw challenge, which I did um, for a week or five days, I guess, not technically a week. Um, so if you want to check out those videos, you can go to my channel. They should be like the last five videos I did. <clears throat> Excuse me, but um, yeah, I made power balls um, to eat during that challenge week, and some of you guys have requested that I make a whole video on them because they're super easy, cheap, and just good to grab on the go. So let's get right into it. Okay, so for the first recipe, you're gonna start out with about half of a banana and just go ahead and mash that up. If you have one of those fancy masher tools, you can use that, but a fork works just as well as you can see here. <laughs> Okay, so after you have your banana mashed up, you're gonna go ahead and add about half a cup of peanut butter. I didn't really measure, just kinda eyeballed it here and used a spoon, but it's about half a cup of peanut butter. All right, and then you're just gonna add some cinnamon, just kinda add it to taste. I really like cinnamon, so I added a good amount, but if you don't like it as much, you can just add a little, just whatever you want, you know. All right, and first we've added protein. We're just gonna add some vegan protein powder. This is the vanilla flavor of the Orgain protein powder. I really like it. It doesn't taste like too strong, but it's nice and sweet, and it adds some protein for your energy balls. All right, and then you're gonna add about half a cup of oats, and just go ahead and mix that right up. Oh yeah. All right, and after that is all mixed up, just go ahead and add um, some cacao nibs, or you can use vegan chocolate chips if you want. I just like cacao nibs because they're healthier for you. They're actually a superfood. So just kind of add them to taste, add about a handful, and then go ahead and stick the dough in the fridge or the freezer for about five minutes and roll them into balls, and you are all set to go. All right, for the second recipe, we're gonna start out with about half a cup of almond butter. Then we're gonna add about one tablespoon of maca powder. This is another superfood. Um, I don't know what it's good for, but I know that it's good for you and it tastes good. Then I'm adding just a little bit of cinnamon. If you don't like cinnamon, you can omit this, but like I said before, I love it. So I added some cinnamon. Then I added about two tablespoons of chia seeds. And then I added just about a tablespoon of maple syrup. You can use agave or any other liquid sweetener, but I just had maple syrup, so that's what I used. Then I added about half a cup of oats, and then I just went ahead and stirred it on up. All right, and after that was mixed, I just added, I only had about like a tablespoon of dried cranberries left. If I had more, I definitely would have added more, but um, I only had a tablespoon, so I was just working with what I had. And then again, just go ahead and stick it in the fridge or the freezer for about five minutes, just so the dough can firm up, and then roll them into balls, and you are good to go yet again. Wow, look how easy. <laughs> Okay, and for the final recipe, um, I reused the bowl that I used for the first one because I didn't want to dirty another dish. But this, for this recipe, I'm using coconut peanut butter, and again, I just used about half a cup of that and then half a, half a cup of oats and stirred this one up together so it's nice and mixed. Oh yeah. All right, and then I just added about a handful of dried coconut flakes and mixed that together yet again. I love coconut, honestly. I hope you do too because these ones came out so good. All right, and then I added about a handful of dark chocolate chunks. If you have chocolate chips, go ahead and use those. But I didn't, so I just cut up a chocolate bar and then added that in there. Mix it up, stick it in the fridge for about five minutes, roll them into balls, which I lost the footage of for this one for some reason, but there you have it. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed these three super easy, no-bake Powerball recipes. Um, if you make them, please let me know how they turned out. So, yep, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next video. Oh, 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 oh,